What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. And today we're checking out the National Art Museum of Catalonia, or the MNAC. Visible from all around Barcelona, the palace atop the Montjuic Hill has been home to the National Art Museum of Catalonia since 1934. Originally built in the 1929 Universal Exposition, the building itself, as my girlfriend's dad puts it, es para cagarse, which roughly translates to meaning it's a really cool building. The museum is divided into three different sections, Romanesque, Gothic, extended through the Renaissance and Baroque periods, and Modernist art are all on display. There's also a terrace that gives you some of the best views in the city. If you want to see it all, it's going to take hours, so budget your time here. The best way to get to the MNAC is from Plaza España, well connected by two different metro lines and plenty of buses. From there it's a short walk with a lot of escalators to the front door. The price of admission is 12 euros and every Saturday after 3 and the first Sunday of every month, it's free. For amazing discounts on museum entrances, I would grab an art ticket, which for just 35 euros gets you into six different Barcelona art museums including the MNAC, MACPA, Picasso, Miro, and more. If you're a fan of Romanesque church murals, this is where you'll find the best collection in the world. As part of a conservation project, the paintings were lifted off the walls of the churches and moved to Barcelona where they've recreated the original layouts of parts of those churches. The process is known as strapo and it's ridiculously complex. I won't even try to explain it, but there's a video on the inside that does a much better job. Some of the most famous paintings from the 11th to 13th centuries are on display in the museum. Instead of driving out to see all of these in the countryside, you can see them all right from Barcelona. The Gothic section includes works from the Renaissance and Baroque periods, but because Catalonia didn't really get into these later periods as much, there tend to be a lot more foreign works. That being said, you can find some of the bigger names from the Spanish Golden Age like Velázquez and El Greco. It's on this side of the museum where you start to see a shift from the religious paintings to more common day-to-day -day life scenes. My opinion, hit up the Romanesque and Modernist sections first. If you do jump out of order, the Modernist section is what Barcelona is most known for these days. Gaudi and even Picasso, who spent time in the city during the modernist period, are names that most know before coming to visit. But what you'll see here are a lot of Catalan artists from the time when Barcelona was pushing to be the Paris of the South. If you want to see Picasso, there's a whole museum in the city for that. Here it's all about Ramon Casas, Santiago Rusiñol, Isidro Nunel, and more. These are the artists painting for the rich, living in all those houses you've been visiting while you're here, and it's pretty incredible. If you visit the Four Cats, you'll even find the originals of the paintings hanging inside the restaurant. Speaking of those houses, there is an entire section dedicated to the work of Gaudi. While you've probably got a house or two on your list of things to see, the furniture used to decorate those interiors isn't always on display. Here you can see just how innovative this guy was. Every step of the way, there's something to look at. I already told you what my girlfriend's dad thought of the place. He followed that up by telling her she needed to go there, if anything, just to see the building. He said, people that live here don't know what they're missing. And I think that about sums it up. Monjuic offers some of the best views of the city, so make sure to take advantage of the roof terrace at the museum. It's only a small extra fee, but it gives you views like what you're seeing here. Just make sure to check to see if it's open before your visit. And remember there are a bunch of other things to do while you're over here at Montjuic. You can go to the Olympic Ring, check out the Joan Miró Museum, or even go up to the castle on top of the hill. The place is enormous, so budget your time well if you're coming over because it takes a while to get through. 
It's basically divided into those three different areas that we've seen. If you're here for Romanesque architecture and artwork, this is the place to be, the largest collection in the world. And there's not as many of the big names that we hear about all over the world, but a lot of those Catalan artists. So if you want to get to know more about the modernist movement, artists, architectures, everything that's on the inside, just right in there. But I wanna know what you guys think. After seeing the video, leave your opinion down in the comment below and let me know if you're coming over to the MNAC. If you're looking for other things to do in Barcelona, check out some of my other videos and don't forget to subscribe.